Hi there, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com and today I would like to show you how you can create a email header for your emails, whether you're using ConvertKit or any other email marketing platform. I love ConvertKit, so I'll just show you what a header looks like for ConvertKit. The way to go about it is just go to any free design software uh, such as Canva and Canva is great I love it because there are so many templates for various uh, images already in build and one of them is email header so you you'll see here the email header the suggested size is 600 px by 200 px so that's 600 by 200 pixels you can just go ahead and select that that's a really good size. Uh, I've also seen 600 by 125 PX working really well, but this is a good starting point. So just click over here and you'll see there's so many free templates for email headers already there. Just select one that you like and you can customize it. I'm going to select this one. I like the font, I like the, the way the image has been uh, made a little bit blurry. So I'll change it to fit my business and I call it email marketing success and you can call it anything that you like. Uh, you can give it the name of your newsletter or just the name of your website, however you like to, to phrase it. All right, so I like that and then I'm going to also add a subheader. So I'll just go over here into text and add a subheading. This is a good size for that. You can hover over here until this crossbar appears. You can change the text. Uh, I'll change the size first of all. And then I'll change the color. I want it white as well. And finally the font. I'd like to change font to, let's say, quicksand. Okay, that looks good. Um, or I can go to open sans. No, I don't like that. There are so many fonts, you can just, you know, get lost in it. So uh, that itself can take a while. I often spend a lot of time figuring out what font I want. Of course, if you have a font that you use on your site, just stick with that. Um, let's go with this just for getting forward with this video. Okay, so this looks good. I am going to move it slightly so it's a little bit visually centered. I like that very much. And now I will download it. So PNG or PDF for print or JPEG. I, I, ConvertKit likes uh, PNG and JPEGs. I'll just stick with PNG and I'm going to download it. That's it. That's how you create an email header. Once this is complete, I get a notification that it's downloaded. And then in the next video, uh, you can check on my blog, sophiaoja.com forward slash blog. You can see how to take this email header and put it inside of ConvertKit. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye.